Not very many people know that I'm in foster care. In the beginning, I used to see it as a weakness, like, oh, what are they going to think of me? They're going to probably think it's my fault. Nancy was born in India. Her parents moved to the United States, and she joined them at age seven. That's when her nightmare began. Fights and arguments. My dad um, first began to sexually abuse me when I, when I was 10. It lasted for four years. I think what hurt me the most was the fact that my mom, who like gave birth to me, didn't even believe me. So I think that's what hurt the most, yeah. Nancy was removed from her home at age 14. Since then, she has lived in five different homes once more. When I first got into foster care, I don't know, I really hated it. My grades were really bad. I wasn't motivated. I didn't really care where my life was headed. I work with the Transition Age Foster Youth Advocacy Program. My job is to do whatever it takes to get a youth to wherever it is that they want to go. She always like pushes me to do my work. She sees the full potential in me when I don't see it. It's a challenge for anybody to get into college, and one of the biggest things is that they're provided and have access to all of the resources available, and they can know who to go to. I didn't know about financial aid. I didn't have any clue about any of that college process and what I was going to do. We took Nancy on some college tours last year, and she just ran like she was skipping. My current foster mom, she called. She's like, oh, you got a package from Cal City Bay. I was like, oh my god. I don't know, it was so nerve-wracking at first, because I was like, oh, what if it said no? She's like, oh, it's a big package. I was like, oh, that means yes. Because I'm pleased to offer you admission to Pepperdine for the fall 2012 semester. They'll pay for you to be there? Yeah. When she got the first scholarship, she just looked like she had won the lottery. She was so excited. Her face lit up. It felt so good. Yeah. felt like somebody appreciated you for once. <laughs> from the director of admissions? Yeah. Chantelle is the best, of course. Oh I don't think I could have done anything without her. Like, all these scholarship opportunities, all these schools that I never even dreamed of applying to and accepting from. So if you got into both of them, what do you do? She basically uh, gave me the courage to see <laughs> me for who I am. I'm very proud of her because I know she's going to be something big because she's really smart. I hope I meet a little me one day so that I can help them out. So, I mean, a lot of people help me out, so I've always wanted to give back by, you know, being on the opposite side and providing for that way. Hopefully I work for public council one day, one day. I feel good about my journey in life and how far I've come. I'm hoping that it keeps going, that my fire just keeps, keep adding fuel to the fire.